I'm gonna take you guys to the Silly Mountain Botanical Walk today and teach you about some of Arizona's native plants. Let's go. This is the creosote bush. You'll see a lot of these in Arizona and it is what gives us that amazing rain smell after we have a rain and it gets these yellow flowers on it in the spring until about the fall time so they just probably can kind of just see they died and several species of bees rely on these for pollination. So this is creosote and it smells like rain. A mighty saguaro, banana yucca. So that little guy is protected from probably rabbits and such. There's an ocotillo. Here's our beautiful ocotillo. It gets these little green leaves on it. And once it gets cold, all these leaves fall off and it's just those little spiky sticks. So this is the velvet mesquite. Um, it is a native variety of mesquite that we have in Arizona. Um, most nurseries out here sell a Chilean mesquite and a lot of people prefer these for landscaping because they are thornless. However, they're not native and they don't make a um, good habitat for some of our, our native that do really well with a velvet mesquite. So if that's a concern or uh, an interest of yours, make sure you find a velvet mesquite. Uh, the thorns won't really bug you once the trees mature because it'll they'll be high up. Nice. This is a jojoba. You may have used jojoba oil before. It is a very useful plant and it is native to Arizona. This is the Palo Verde tree. It means green stick. So you can see that it has the green bark. This is kind of a smaller one, but you'll see a lot of these around. People use them for landscaping and at their homes and in shopping complexes, and they get uh, really pretty yellow flowers on them in the spring. So these Palo Verde trees with the green bark actually photosynthesize through their bark and that is why it's green. This is a nice little walk and you can learn all about Arizona's native plants. You can see some wildlife, you can see a little quail up there. Very cute.